One of the best method to achieve proficiency is to learn from others. Hello friends, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial channel and this is Randy from Ranch Graphics and today I'm gonna be showing you how to create this. Before we will start this tutorial, I just want to inform you guys that from now on, if you will support my channel by being a member or giving this channel a super thanks or even donated to my channel in any amount, I will feature and place your name or channel on the scrolling ticker below on my next video. If living in a foreign countries with different dialects, be sure to translate your name or channel account to English alphabet by leaving as a message through email or in the comment section below. Thanks. Let's start by creating a new composition. Name it text. 1080p by 1920, 30 frames per second, 10 seconds duration. Click OK. Grab the text tool. Type inviting you. I'm using Juliet font 220 pixels. Center it horizontally. Drag it down a bit. Center it horizontally, then grab the text tool, type to our all the small letters, center it horizontally. And I'm using here Juliet of one regular, the two hour here, change this to 100 pixels. Then I will just drag it up a bit, center it horizontally, then go back again to your text tool and type wedding. I will change the font size here to 220. Center it horizontally. Move it up just a little bit. Enable title action save. Highlight all these layers. Press P on your keyboard for the position. Drag it down to the center. Go to composition. Create a new composition. Name it ornament. I will change the width here to 500 by 500. 30 frames per second and 10 seconds duration. Click OK. Zoom it in. Go to your project panel and open this folder assets. Go to the image holder. Drop this image down into the timeline. Press this on your keyboard for the scale. Scale it down to 36. Press P on your keyboard for the position. Drag it on the right side of it to make it center. Go back to your text, open it up. Drop down this ornament into the timeline. Press P on your keyboard for the position. Drag it up. I will just type here 580. Shift S for the scale. Put the scale down to 50%. Maybe I will just drag it up a bit like that. Go to composition, create a new composition. Name it reflection. 1080p by 1920, 30 frames per second, 10 seconds duration. Go to your project panel and highlight this reflection map. Drop it down into the timeline. Go to effects and preset. Go to stylize and motion tile. Change the output width to 780 and the output height 900. Check mirror edges. Go to effects and preset. Go to blur and sharpen. Add fast box blur. Change the iteration to 1. Blur radius is 5. Now make sure that your play it is at the beginning of your timeline. Create a keyframe by hitting this stopwatch on the tile center. Then move your play it forward to the end of your timeline. And move the anchor point on the right side like this. Then go to composition. Create a new composition. Name it fractal noise. Click OK. Go to layer. Create a new solid. Name it Fractal. Make it comb size. Click OK. Go to Effects and Preset. Go to Noise and Grain. 
fractal noise change the fractal type here to dynamic twist then the contrast change this to 150 open transform change the scale to 150 complexity is 20 create an expression on the evolution by clicking your keyboard alt and hold it click the stopwatch on the evolution and type time time is 50 I like this fractal, press your keyboard control D to duplicate it. Check the invert. Go to composition, create a new composition. Name it text animation. Ten eighty by nineteen twenty, thirty frames per second, ten seconds duration. Click OK. Then open project panel, drop down this text into the timeline. Drop this fractal noise into the timeline. Disable the visibility on the fractal noise. Highlight this text. Go to effects and preset. Go to transition. Add CC image wipe. Open the gradient. Change the layer to fractal noise. Move your playhead forward to one second. Create a keyframe on the completion and change the value here to 100%. Then move forward your playhead to three seconds. Change the value on your completion to zero. Move your playhead again to 7 seconds and 28 frames. Press you on your keyboard to see the keyframes. Then create a keyframe by hitting this tiny diamond in here. Forward your playhead at the end of the timeline. Change the completion here to 100%. Then go to layer. Create a new adjustment layer. Go to effects and preset. Go to distort and add turbulent displays. Move your playhead at the 1 second duration and create a keyframe on the displacement amount. Change the amount to 100%. Move your playhead forward to the 3 seconds duration. Change the amount on your displacement to 50. Forward your playhead to the 5 seconds duration. Change the amount of your displacement to 0. Then go to edit and split the layer. Then delete this layer. Move back your blade to the one second duration. Highlight this adjustment layer. Go to edit, split the layer. And delete this layer. Then go to layer, create a null object. Press S on your keyboard for the scale. Change the amount of your scale here to 80%. Create a keyframe by hitting the stopwatch on the scale. Move your playhead forward at the end of the timeline and change the scale here to 100%. So let's preview this. Let's see. Now go to Composition, create a new Composition. Name it Text Animation Final. Ten eighty by nineteen twenty p thirty frames per second and ten seconds duration. Click OK. Open project panel. Highlight this text animation. Drop it down into the timeline and also the reflection. Then disable the visibility of your text animation. Go to effects and preset. Go to stylize. Add CC glass. Open the surface. Change the bump map here to the text animation. Softness is ten. Change the property here to alpha. Open the light. Change the light type here to point light. Effects and preset go to distort. CC blob lies. Open blobiness. Change the blob layer to the text animation. Change the property to alpha. Softness is 5. Caraway 0. Open this light. Change the light type to point light. Move your player forward to see what we are doing here. So I will just go back to the fractal noise, open the sub settings, change the amount on subscaling to 85. Then go back to the text animation final, go to effects and preset and add color correction, herbs. Change the RGB to red, drag this red up like this. Change the red to green, drag the green up like this. Change the green to blue, drag the blue down. Change the blue to RGB, drag it down a bit to make it darker. Then go to effects and preset, go to blur and sharpen, add fast box blur. 
change the iteration to 1 and the blur radius is 1. Change the track mat on the reflection to alpha mat. So this is now what we did. Let's preview this. Go to your project panel, open this footage, highlight these shapes, drag it down into the composition icon to create a composition. See? Now go to composition and create a new composition. I will name it shapes. And change the width here to 1080p by 1920. Click OK. I will just rename this as butterfly shape. To create a new folder, I will name it text. Again, create a new folder and I will name it shape. Create another folder and I will name it common combs. I will drag the fractal noise to the common comps and also the reflection because we will use this one repeatedly as we go along and create the rest of the scenes. Close it. Drag these layers to the text folder. I'll just rename this text one. And this ornament, I will drag it to the text folder. Then this butterfly shape, drag it to the shape folder. Now go to composition and create a new composition. Name it shapes. 1080p by 1920, 30 frames per second, 10 seconds duration, click OK. Drop this butterfly shape into the timeline. Move forward your plate so you can see the shapes. Then press P on your keyboard for the position, drag it up. Put it on the left corner. Highlight this butterfly shape. Press my keyboard, Ctrl D to duplicate it. Press P on my keyboard for the position and I will drag it down. Drag it on the right side. Then go to layer, transform it horizontally. Go to composition, create a new composition. Name it pointed thing one. 1000 by 200 pixels, 30 frames per second, 10 seconds duration, click OK. Zoom it in, then open the pointed thing on your project panel. Make sure that when you import it, composition must retain layers. Go to effects and preset, go to generate. I will add fill. I want it white. Then press P on my keyboard for the position, drag it on the left side. Then highlight this layer, go to layer, transform it horizontal, drag it on the right side. Open the shapes, go to project panel, open it up, highlight this pointed thing, drag it on the shape folder and drag it down into the timeline. Press S on your keyboard for the scale and scale it down to 50%. Move your player backward to 1 second. Press open bucket key to move that layer. I will open the text temporarily. Drop down this text into the timeline. I will highlight this pointed thing and press P on my keyboard for the position. Drag it up like that. Highlight this pointed thing. Press my keyboard control D to duplicate it. Press P on my keyboard for the position. Drag this pointed thing down like that. Highlight this text one and delete it. Go to composition. Create a new composition. Name it shape animation final one. I will change the width here to 1080p and the height I will change this to 1920. 30 frames per second, 10 seconds duration, click OK. Then I will drag this shape animation final to the shape folder. 
highlight the shapes and drag it down into the timeline move forward my playhead to see the shapes then open the common comps folder drop this reflection down into the timeline disable the visibility on the shapes go to effects and preset stylize add cc glass open the surface change the bump map to the shapes change the softness to 10 open the light change the distant light to point light go to effects and preset go to distort cc blob lies open blobiness change the blob layer to shapes softness 6 cut away 3 open the light i think that should be good enough close it open text animation final scroll down make sure that this curve is highlighted go to edit copy it go to shape animation final one and paste it see so now all you have to do is to scroll down and go to effects and preset blur and sharpen fast box blur change the iteration here to one blur radius one change the track mat on the reflection to alpha mat So now I'll go back to the shapes, move my plate forward to 9 seconds, highlight these two layers, press T on my keyboard for opacity, create a keyframe by hitting this opacity, move forward to the end of the timeline, change the opacity here to 0. Go to composition, create a new composition, name it scene main 1. 1080 by 1920 30 frames per second 10 seconds duration click ok go open project panel drop this shape animation final into the timeline move your player forward so you can see the shapes drop this text animation final into the timeline you can see now all you have to do is to close this shape and text open this folder assets go to footage highlight this particle one movie drop it down into the timeline right click your mouse enable time remapping extend this layer up to the end of your timeline also the keyframe then press r for the rotation change the amount of the rotation to 90 degrees highlight it right click your mouse pre-compose it name it particle one Move all the attributes into the new composition, click OK. Then change the blending mode here to add. Go to effects and preset, color correction, try tone. Let's preview this. If you guys will continue to create more scenes, I will leave it all to you, okay? So now guys, we are done with our tutorial. I hope that you like it. If you want to support my channel, give me a super thanks. Be a member or donate in any amount. I will appreciate it very much. Don't forget to like, comment, and press the notification bell so that you get alerts when I have new videos to upload. And my thoughts for the day guys is that have perseverance in learning thank you guys for watching and see you next time god bless